today in the series of real life plc and hmi examples we are going to see complete production line of plastic door frames and window frames production line so let us see that so first of all let us see the complete production line after that we will discuss each component in detail so this is the complete automatic production line from beginning to the end the fully automatic system this is the corner welding machine this is pelletizing machine the finished products are pelletized and after comes the corner cleaning machine and this whole system is made using vicon plc hmi servo drives and servo motors so this is the actual plc and hmi panels you can see in this way the system is completely automatic and it can operate in different axes see this is movement through servo drives and servo motors it is clamping declamping through pneumatic cylinders there are different kind of corner cleaning machines you see this is also a corner cleaning machine so this is how the actual plc panels and all looks like and each machine has different hmi and plc panel so it can stack up to 20 ready products so this is how the corner cleaning machine works the process of this production line starts from the welding machine so first of all let us see uh, how welding machine works so before that we need to understand the process of welding plastic frames so here you can see this there are four different sides of plastic frame and these are the corners so these corners are heated by heater after heating up to certain temperature and desired time after heating the all four corners these corners are pressed together applying some pressure to it so these are welded you can see this corner these are the welding of plastic frames so this is the complete process now we will see actual actually see it is moving in different axis first it is moving in one axis after that it is moving in another axis because there will be different size of door or frames so based on that it will adjust accordingly okay first it will move in one direction after that it is moving in another direction so it will adjust to the size of door after that what happens you see these cylinders came downwards so here it will clamp power frames okay let me play this so in this way first it will adjust to the size of frame then it will cylinders will come down to clamp the frames so after that what happens heater comes out so as discussed here first it will clamp all the four corners or uh, four sides and then heater will come out so the same thing is happening over here okay it came based on the size of door it holded the frame and then it will little move backward and heater will come out then for certain period it will remain there only after that heaters will go back so observe carefully this is a complete process let me show you with example so here you can see so in this way these four frames are kept okay four sides now it will clamp okay this clamped after that heater will come out after certain period this heater will move back and all the pieces will be jointed together with each other
heater move back and you see the movement of this cylinder okay movement of this clamp it moved so that this side frame can be joined to this side same process occur to all the corners Let me repeat from here observe this corner after the heater moved this clamping moved towards this clamp so this both sides can be joined together so in this way the welding process is done what will happen after this these cylinders will move upward so it can unclamp this and these products will be dropped to this conveyor and from this conveyor it will convey our products to corner cleaning machine so now the next step is to understand the operation of corner cleaning machine so basically it is one kind of cnc machine only because it moves in different direction and there is one spindle in it works like cutter or grinder so first of all through this conveyor the products are brought to corner cleaning machine so this is both of this is corner cleaning machine so let us see that you see product is brought after that what happened when the desired position is achieved this conveyor moves downward after that this cylinder pneumatic cylinders will rise up and it will tightly hold the frame okay now this machine will move as per the size of frames and another pneumatic cylinders will come downward to hold this tightly and here you can see this is the movement of servo motor in upward direction and horizontal direction so in this way it will clean this corners you see it is moving upward direction and horizontal direction based on the desired pattern after that again it will move this complete is moving forward so there is another servo drive and here it is cleaning through this and now it is rotated so for rotation also there is another servo drive okay so as you can see one for horizontal movement one for up down movement and one for this rotation so total there will be three servo drives for this corner cleaning machine and one motor for this moving this spindle now it will go downwards and it will clean from downward direction so again it will move in horizontal direction now again it came backward after cleaning and again it rotated so again angle motor operated so in this way cleaning is done so it unclamps cylinder moves upwards so it unclamps the frame and again this conveyor will move upwards and after that this conveyor will start and take this to pelletizer machine because this is now complete finished product okay so it is taking it to next step so before going to next step let us see again the corner cleaning operation here you can see you can see the laser over here so this complete system is tracked through laser movement also so you can see how machine operate on the hmi screen through pattern okay so this is why the there is a laser detection also so first you can see it is moving upward then horizontal direction again or upward in this way it cleans the corners now we will see the last stage of our production line that is the pelletizing machine this is nothing but taking the finished products on the pellets so that why it is called pelletizing machine so first of all let us see how it operates so first of all this arms will come in downward direction so one servo motor will be for this upward and downward direction after that you can see there are pneumatic cylinders which will be advanced and it will clamp this frame so this frame can be hold okay you can see it clamped again this move it in upward direction so in this way it holds our door frames or window frame that is our complete finished product so first of all from the corner cleaning machine the finished product comes to pelletizer 
after that palletizer will pick it up it will move in another axis like this you can see it is moving in one direction when the desired position is achieved it will stop okay now it will stop and now this servo drive will, will move in downward direction again when the desired position is achieved this cylinders will declamp or move backward so it will release this frame and frame will drop to here so in this way it can also count and it can stack up to 20 products in one stack and after that it will stack over here so in this way this machine automatically works okay so this is the pelletizer machine and this is its panel and HMI. Each machine has different PLC and different HMIs because these are three different sections. So there are three different operations. So this is the complete overview of this production line. So again, let us revise from beginning. First section, first panel will be there for corner welding machine which will have one HMI separate HMI for welding machine and separate PLC after that this PLC is communicated to different servo drives the welding machine will adjust itself in different direction based on the size of frames so for that we will require servo drives there is temperature controller as I have told you there will be heater to heat these plastic frames so there is temperature controller and there will be relay for solenoid valves and these solenoid valves will operate pneumatic cylinders so this is for clamping the frames as i have shown you so this is the overview of corner welding machine now we will see the overview of corner cleaning machine so again in the corner cleaning machine i have told you there is horizontal movement vertical movement and the spindle is moving with angle so there are three servo motors for that besides this i have told you there is one laser ranging machine and there is also relay solenoid valves and cylinder because plc operates the relay relay operates the solenoid valve and it will operate the pneumatic cylinder so this will clamp the door frames hold the door frames tightly so that cleaning or grinding or cutting process can be done easily and at the last step there comes the pelletizer so in the pelletizer also i have shown you the pelletizer moves in upward downward and horizontal in different directions so for that there are servo motors servo drives okay so this is the complete architecture of this production line so now let us see what are the benefits of doing all this so first of all we will see the advantages of corner cleaning machine so it can weld very precisely uh, there is no blacklash means there is no wastage of products like wrong welding or like that and one time welding in one time only it can weld all four corners now we will see the advantages of corner cleaning machine first of all there is high productivity high accuracy and as i have told you there is laser scanning demonstration means in which path the machine is moving that path you can see on the screen also and there is one click path generation means uh, whenever there is any new pattern uh, that can be easily made just by giving this pattern to hmi drawn from hmi last but not the least we will see the advantages of pelletizer machine so as i told you earlier it can stack up to 20 window frames in one stack it can neatly and efficiently stack our finished products and the best thing is it is communicated with the other machines like corner cleaning machines so there is no any human operation required to start and stop this machine this machine is operated by itself so this is all for this video friends if you want to see more examples like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel Meet you in the another video with another real life example.